Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, for all my long-term subscribers, how long have you heard that we are in a spiritual war? How many times have I told you over the years that things are going to get harsh for all us psychics, NDEs, people who believe in God, source or universal love? So here is where we're at today. I've been writing my books, Hell Explained, Heaven, well, heaven's already done. Hell explained, love explained, outer consciousness explained. I've been working on all three separate books for about six months. Last night I heard psychically from her, my lady, that I've got to congest all these into one book. I was not aware at that time, lo and behold, this morning, I got sent a video. Now, this is two days old. And this video that I'm about to show is absolutely terrifying to all of us who believe in heaven, gods, angels, spirit guides, psychic abilities, and spiritual matters. So what has happened in the UK now, I'm not a racist, okay? Don't think I am. But if, it, if something is black, I call it black. If someone's, that's red, that's red. I've got red glasses. So when I see black, I call it for black, yeah? And so I call religious people by their religions. In the UK right now, they're having a religious war. It is the Christians of the UK who have been in the UK since the Romans left centuries and centuries ago. And now they are being overrun by Muslims. So there is riots, hostility, attacks. People are getting killed because of these interrate and um, religious groups um, not getting on. And now it's getting worse, guys. We are now in the mix. Spiritualism has been getting attacked for at least the last five years that a lot of people are aware of. I've been known, I've known this for 20 years since I died. Let me explain. Remember, I'm going to show a video. In lockdowns, when you look at when they said social distancing was 1.5 metres, do you know, apparently, our aura, which is our energetic field around our bodies, emits 1.5 metres? They, in my own personal opinion, did that deliberately so we could not connect energetically. Keeping people in their houses, which were the lockdowns, are you aware that there is scientific proof that proves standing in the sun not only gives us health, it gives us vitamin D, it also eradicates a lot of injuries and illnesses within our body, but also the sun's radiation affects our pineal gland, allegedly, <laughs> and it gives us psychic abilities. Why do you think they wanted to keep us inside? So... If you're on the right page with me listening, I died in 2001. I've been to heaven. Okay, I see angels. We're in trouble of what's coming. So for those who don't know, a man in the UK got arrested. What was his crime, you might say? His wife wanted to have an abortion for unknown reasons. I, I haven't researched it that well, so I don't know why she wanted to have the abortion or needed to have the abortion. But she went inside and this man sat quietly outside the abortion clinic and he was praying for his unborn son. Can you imagine the turmoil, trauma and absolute heart-wrenching grief this man would have been going through knowing that his son was about to die. So he was praying for the son's soul to be accepted into heaven. 
he got arrested. He got found guilty. And not only did he get community service, he also got a £9,000 fine from the court. So now it is illegal to pray. It is illegal to connect energetically, telepathically with the source that we communicate with. This doesn't just represent Christianity. It's also Muslims, Islam, Sikh, Buddhism. All religion is now under fire because of what's now been legalised in the UK. We now have a precedent where they can move forward with this movement, movement to eradicate not just religion but also spiritualism where we have that faith and belief in what comes after our death. I vehemently will not send out H-A-T-E to these people. I vehemently will not get upset. I send them love. I send them acceptance. And most of all, I send these people compassion to understand what they're doing and perspective so they learn the errors of what they're doing. All our psychic abilities are innate. Heaven is real. I've been there. In my own personal view, it's real. So let's look at this video and see what I'm talking about. It's on March for Life UK. It was uploaded two days ago and it's already got 87,000 views. Breaking silent prayer is now criminalised in the UK. Let's have a listen to what he says. So here's the guy. Hello, we've just received the verdict from the judge in the case of Adam Smith Connor. She has found Adam guilty um, for his silent prayers. This is a shocking verdict. Adam, what would you like to say on, on receiving this verdict? Before we go into what Adam says, how many, real, how many reporters are here? Do you see the news crew set up? Look how much the media is staying out of this. They don't want to report on this. So if you're down that rabbit hole where we look at media, propaganda and what they report, oh, please tell me that you are down this rabbit hole. Look behind these three people. There's nobody else there. Look in the reflections. There's nobody standing around the area. Look, there's nobody. The media is hushed on this. So hopefully today, guys, you share the absolute heck out of this news. If you're religious, if you're spiritual, if you believe in life after death, heaven, angels, gods, whatever, You've got to share this to your friends, not so we retaliate or revenge it. We have to be aware of what they're doing so we can burn brighter than the light they are trying to diminish within us. Here we go with what he says. Well, I just want to thank everyone for the support over the last two years uh, since I was first accused of this thought crime on the 20th. Thought crime. Hang on. They are now calling this a thought crime. You know, guys, Elon Musk just came out with his new robots. They're called Optimus. And guess what they do? They communicate through AI thought communication, which they are calling telepathy. It's not telepathy. It's Wi-Fi. So they are trying to replace God with AI. Let's keep going. That's what I think anyway. 22. Uh, Psalm 22 verse 10 says, When my father and mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. I served our great nation for 20 years as an army reservist. 
I continue to serve my local community as a physiotherapist and a, a church volunteer. I never imagined that the nation I love and has been so good to me in the past could turn on me for doing nothing more than offer up a prayer for my deceased son. Oh my God. It is now illegal in the UK to pray for a deceased person. I, I have no words. I have no words. All I can say, guys, share this information. Don't get emotionally attached to what they're doing. Don't H A and then the T E word. That's the wrong way because then we're creating their energy for them to keep doing this. We must send them love. We must send them angelic love because angels always do win. Ultimately, angels win. So right now, I'm going to do a little angel card, okay? Let's do one right now, not just for this man's son who was aborted, but I want to do a little love dove card. All my, word, all my cards start with the word love. If you know me from my Sunday lives, you know that I always, oh, look, one's already turned over. It just turned over. I've got to get this one. Love would take care of a friend in need. Love would take care of a friend in need. We're all in need. And we're all friends, right? When do we discriminate and say we're not going to help anybody else? So the angels are now screaming. This is my this is my take on that card. Take care of others in need. Bring them to the awareness of what's going on globally. Let's hear what else he says. I felt like my government had forsaken me, but the Lord has taken care of me, surrounded me with prayer, and provided me with an excellent uh, legal team with uh, ADF UK. I want to thank anyone, everyone who's been praying for justice in this court case. I've received messages of support from across Britain. How good is it is that this guy just said, thank you for those who are praying for me. In other words... He's not backing down, guys. Just because they say we can't pray, <laughs> guess what I'm going to do? Okay? When people tell me turn off your light, I'm going to make it <laughs> health, uh, what is it? Hell, um, those big lamps, halogen lamps that kind of get turned on. I'm going to turn on that saucer that you can see from Mars. That's what I'm going to do with my life. America, Italy, and even in Bethlehem, the birthplace of Christ. I'm extremely saddened that the judge has found me guilty. This marks a dark and dangerous day for our nation. He doesn't know how dangerous this is now. This is ultimately that precedent where they can go after anyone of any religion who prays publicly. This is dangerous ground that we're standing on, guys. How are we going to get through this? Is by being unified together. They tried to separate us through the lockdowns. Think about it. When they said to me, Oh, you've got to stay 1.5 metres from your friends and your neighbours and your loved ones. I knew 1.5 metres was my auric field. I know that when I'm close to someone, I energetically, telepathically pick up on their emotions and we create more energy. This has been going on for five years, guys, and now it's getting to the stages of where it really is bad. We've got to stick together like little ley lines all over the planet. I'm in Brisbane, Australia. I've got friends in America, friends in Austria, 
friends in London, friends in Spain, friends in China, friends in Brazil, Fiji. We must energetically put our minds together and love. Love always wins. Heaven always wins. We must keep that faith, yeah? So here's the video. It's on YouTube under March for Life UK. It was uploaded two days ago on the 17th of October. It's had 87,000 views. I'm going to like it. Well, should we dislike it? No, never do that. Like it, okay? And share it. I've already shared it, shared it today on Facebook. So public silent prayer, PSP, public silent prayer is now illegal in the UK. <coughs> it makes me want to throw up. So I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to do some meditation. I'm going to do my own public prayer right now. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for giving me the awareness and the strength to face what this world is doing to us at this point. Thank you so much, Heavenly Father, all my angels, all my guides. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to be your voice and for you to work through me to bring the awareness to others. Thank you so much to all my ethical beings, my guides, my protectors, my angels, all the other entities of the universal forces that are in play. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Please know that we are just the victims here of other people's decisions. Please understand that our thoughts, our mind, our souls all show our true intentions and you see our true intentions. So please understand that I am 100% committed and loyal to you. If you want to say amen, say amen. If you want to say thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord, Thank you, Allah, whoever, please say it. If you're not religious, please consider that there could be something after death that is so beautiful, so unique, and so welcoming because it is total love. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video with your friends. Go And I'll put the description below of that video so you can go and watch the entirety of it. Thank you so much for watching. So much. Oh, let's start again. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Talk soon.